So how do I use LIVO2? What does a typical training session look like? What do I need to be able to do to accomplish that? So we'll go over that now. So it's a fun 15 minute workout. The majority of our protocols are at 15 minutes. Uh, that's typically what you're gonna be doing with the LIVO2 protocol is you'll need 15 minutes of your time. We do have some more advanced protocols that are more athletically driven that may take a little longer than that and spend more time at altitude. But for the most part, all of the typical training sessions are gonna be around 15 minutes in, in total duration. <clears throat> Uh, you'll see also on the website, uh, exercise bike. This is a really common question we get all the time. Do I have to use the bike? There's, you don't have to use a bike. You can use any type of equipment that you would like. Uh, we sell a Kaiser M3 bike, which is made by the, the Kaiser company. That's the one that you'll see in all of our pictures. And it's really the nicest bike that you can possibly buy. But really any exercise equipment that you, if you already have something in your basement, a uh, stepper, a rebounder even, anything like that can be used and be perfectly okay. We just need to be able to get your heart rate up um, into like a minimum threshold and keep it there for a full 15 minutes. So 15 minutes once every three days. So you need to do one session every three days. It would be our minimum recommendation if you're gonna be on like a long-term program, just get on it once every three days and that should keep you your oxygen levels in the appropriate ranges if you're under normal stress levels. If you have it in your house uh, already and you have the energy, we can recommend you go ahead and use it every single day. That is perfectly okay. There may be a point of diminishing returns as far as oxygen saturation where you're not really gonna see much more saturation over baseline if you do it more than once a day. Um, so we really kind of recommend you to stick at the once a day um, of use. Uh, 170 minus your age is your minimum target heart rate that you want to hit when you're training on a LIVO2 session. So that's the minimum that we want you to keep the entire time for the full 15 minutes. So whatever equipment you can do that can do that for you, keep that heart rate in that minimum range. So say if you're 70 years old, seven, 170 minus 70 would be 100. You'd have to keep a minimum heart rate of 100 beats per minute for the entire 15 minutes. Uh, you will be wearing a SPO2 monitor while you're training. That goes on your finger, it just clips on, and that'll, that uh, will monitor your heart rate. So you don't have to go out and buy a special heart rate monitor to know that you're in the proper zones. Uh, one comes with the kit. That monitor will also indicate to you how much oxygen is attached to your hemoglobin uh, and your red blood cells. So it'll give you an idea of how saturated you are with oxygen at your red blood cell level, which is still a very crude measurement, but it's helpful when we're training and it's especially helpful when we're training people with adaptive contrast, because at some points during adaptive contrast, we may actually desaturate your body for a short period of time when we put you on the high altitude setting. And we'll get more into the adaptive contrast uh, a little bit later. And this is probably the most important part of how do you do LIVO2 is there's full support with the expert trainer. So this may seem a little confusing. Um, you know, I, you know, you, this is maybe completely new to you. Maybe you haven't worked out in, in 10 plus years. We have a full support staff uh, filled with different types of articles, training manuals, and expert trainers to walk you through setting up a program that's going to be appropriate for you at the level that you're at, regardless of where you are. We will meet you exactly where you are and make sure that you, you're gonna get the most out of the machine for your appropriate level 